Welcome to this special edition of Coffee Time. Coffee Time is a uh, weekly YouTube video that I create that demonstrates one website or one app for iPads or iPhones that I think teachers or administrators will find useful. Uh, it's built around the premise that we record something like this video for about 10 minutes uh, to demonstrate how the site works and give some ideas about how that could be utilized in the classroom. And of course, we have to have coffee. So in this edition, we're going to go a little longer because this is for the Principal Meet Unconference, of which I signed up to present but cannot be present. Uh, I will be on a train to Vermont for the Discovery Educator Network Summer Institute and did not realize that I had a scheduling conflict at the time. So they've been kind enough to let me record this in advance. So this recording will be about 15 minutes. My usual coffee time videos are 10. Your schedule calls for 20. But the coordinator of the uh, unconference said that he would be happy to answer some questions. And so I appreciate him taking a few minutes at the end of this video to sort of recap for me. So let's drag up a chair. We're going to look today at Screencast-O-Matic, both the free and the pro version, of how this might be able to help you in flipping the classroom, helping remediate students, or doing something with professional development from the administrator's standpoint. So let's get going. And of course, in order for me to do anything with um, my laptop, I have to have my glasses on. So my apologies if there's a glare over my glasses while I record. This is the Screencast-O-Matic website, and it is both a free and a paid site. Uh, the subscription rate is $15 a year. You can get three years for $30. So depending on how much you think you want to use it, you might be able to save a little money doing it that way. I'm going to start off not logged in so that you can see what the free account looks like. There are a couple of things to be aware of. In the free account, you're limited to a 15-minute video, which is really pretty much all you'll ever need uh, for the most part. There also is a watermark that will be on the video to say that it was recorded at Screencast-O-Matic. If you want to get rid of that, you'll need to go to the pro version. There are no editing tools, so what you record is what you get. Now what I found is I would use Screencast-O-Matic um, when I would have questions come up. Teachers had uh, a quick question about technology and I needed to demonstrate maybe how to insert a picture into Word or how to, how to work a particular app on the iPad where I'm going to record a video of just three or four minutes. Quality is not an issue. Editing is not an issue. I can stumble around if I need to. It's a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing. So there are no editing tools in the free version. Um, so we'll look around here for just a minute. I want to show you kind of what it does. Then we'll talk about this site for a little bit more, and then I'll show you what you could get if you went to the pro version. Now, on this site, there's a button over here on the top right-hand corner that says Start Recording. And when you start recording, um, if you're on the site for the first time for that day, or if you've just opened the browser up after it's been closed for a while, it's going to ask to install an applet on your computer. You can, you can do that, or you can download and install the program permanently. I usually just use the, uh, the permission to download it now and use it one time. So you'll see this applet comes up, and it says that it wants to access your computer, and I just click Allow. And then it's going to come up with a box. And this box, you can move around the screen. Whoop, that is the screen. You can move the box around the screen just by grabbing a hold of one of the corners. Let me put this back where it was. You can drag a corner to make it bigger, any size that you want. You can drag the middle to make it taller, um, the edges to make it wider. And you'll see at the bottom of that uh, screen is uh, a set of tools that you're able to uh, control with. The red dot is where you start to record. Um, there is, you'll see as I'm talking now, you'll see a little green bar sort of moving where the microphone is. And so this will uh, allow me to choose a microphone. I can also adjust the sound. And I usually just go to auto adjust volume. And then as I get bigger, it sort of keeps everything in a certain spot and doesn't let it get really loud or really soft. Um, 
And it will also allow me to choose my uh, FaceTime camera. It probably won't do that right now because I'm already using my camera with Camtasia. So I'll show you what that looks like when I show you a finished video that we'll do a little later. Um, if I want to start recording, then I just simply move this box where I want it to go. And let's say that I want it to go here so that we can sort of see where I'm at. And I just click the record button. It will count down my timer. One of the things that I like about it, it's recording now, but one of the things that I like about this is wherever I click, and I'm just going to move this around here and click my mouse a few times, wherever I click, it will get a little yellow ping to show me where that's clicking. And when I'm done, I just click done right here. And immediately you can see my recording is available. One of the things that I like about it, it's recording now, but one of the things that I like about this is, so you can see the, the yellow dots that are going along. And when it's done, I have a few options. I can publish this to Screencast-O-Matic. I just need a login. Uh, I don't usually do that. I can publish it to YouTube. I do have a YouTube account, so I can publish it there. More than likely, I'm going to download this video file to my hard drive where I can upload it where I want it. I might put it in Edmodo. I might have my own uh, server my own folder on the server of the school where, where teachers could access that. Uh, if it's small enough, I might want to just throw it up into a Dropbox account, email it. Um, there's a number of things I could do with it if I download the video. Okay, So once I'm done, then I'm going to delete that because I'm not going to bother to save it. That is, in a nutshell, how easy it is to use Screencast-O-Matic. You just start a recording, you talk, you show what's on the screen, and it's done. Now, with any kind of screen recorder, anything within that box is going to be recorded. So if I move the box to enlarge to the whole screen, like I'm doing now with Camtasia, then you're going to see everything. If I open up, um, let, let's say for instance, let me throw this up here. I'm going to open up PowerPoint um, and just put up a blank slide. If I were doing this on um, to demonstrate, um, let me just let me just put a couple of things in here while I'm going. You can see I'm making this up as I go along, which I usually do when I'm doing this live. So here's slide one, and here is slide two, and then here is slide three. Well, let's spell it right. And if I were if I were doing this live, I would. I would throw that PowerPoint out there full screen. But if I want to record it, I can come over here to Screencast-O-Matic. I can click Start Recording. It's going to pull that up, and I'm going to move this out of the way. And now I can come down here. Let's come back down here. Ah, always does this when I get in a hurry. So I'm going to pull this down here, and I'm just going to record the square where the slide is. And that way, as I'm recording, the people who are seeing the video are only going to see that slide like I was giving a presentation. They're not going to see any of the menu items at the top. They're not going to see any of the things along the side. And if I started to record, which I will do again, and so it's coming up now to record. Now when I click over here on the left-hand margin to go from slide to slide, it will allow me to do that. And whatever I have on the slides will start showing as a slide show. And when I click done and I go back to play that video. Now when I click over here on the left hand margin to go from slide to slide, it will allow me to do that. So you can see that it, it only records just that bit like I'm doing a full screen. That's the beauty of screencasting. You can make it full screen in the video without having to make it full screen on your computer. So if you're doing this, if you want to record a PowerPoint presentation uh, to video, if you want to record um, a smart notebook file or a Promethean Active Inspire flip chart file, you don't have to go full screen. Just record that part where the slide is, and all the stuff you're doing on the outside doesn't have to show up. So that is, in a nutshell, the free version of... Let's pull this back up. The free version of Screencast-O-Matic. Now, 
when I log in, I have a pro version. Let me get logged in here. And the pro version, again, was um, $15 for a year. And the nice thing about the pro version is I get a lot of other options with the pro version. Let me throw this up here just a little bit. Um, one of the things that happens is I lose the watermark. So now the video is mine. I don't have to have Screencast-O-Matic in the video anywhere when I publish it. The other thing that I, that I get is a number of editing tools, and the editing tools are pretty robust. Um, and so if I am, uh, let's, let's do this again. Let's just sort of come out here, and while we're here, let's just throw up a new tab that I can come back to. That'll be good. Um, and so once I record something, then I can do some editing. And I'll show you a little bit about the tools. And then when this video is over, um, I'll, I'll show a finished version of what a Screencast-O-Matic short video, couple of minutes, looks like with some of those edits in it. So I would do the same thing again. I, again, I have down here at the bottom, I have the microphones available. I have the volume control that I had before. Um, I can change the screen size if I want to. There are built-in screen sizes. Uh, for publishing to YouTube and that kind of thing. Um, again, I can use the webcam, which I'll show you in a little bit how that works. And then I have these other tools. And one of the things is I lose the 15 minute limit when I go pro. So there now I can make a video as long as I want. Okay. Um, I have it set. So there's a countdown that three, two, one at the beginning, the control bars on the bottom, just a few little things that, that I can, um, uh, that I can work with. And so we'll get rid of that. Um, and the other thing is that it will allow me to do some edits when it's done. So when it's finished, I'll show you what the edits look like. So I'm just going to turn this back on again. And we're going to go through just a little bit of, you know, here are a few tools. We'll go out here to YouTube. As I'm clicking on things, um, you know, various websites come up. They're being recorded inside the box. Um, and if I wanted to resize that, I could move this over here so that it's in there. Um, and so as I keep going and I open up other 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 files, maybe my Digo account, um, you'll see different kinds of things recorded. And I've recorded about 30 seconds so far. So I'm going to click Done. Now on the right hand side of the video, you see I have a whole different group of tools. Now I have editing. Now I can rename it before I save it. Now I have other uploading options because now I can put it into my Google Drive. I can upload it to Dropbox automatically. I can put it in uh, Vimeo, uh, which is a really good high quality website for videos. So there's a number of things here that I can do, but if I want to edit it, this is the big change if you, if you go pro. And so one of the things that you might want to do in here is to add some type of overlay to the video. So I'm going to click over here on add an overlay. And then I have a choice here to add it at the current time, which is right here at this spot. And I can choose it down here at the bottom. Here's a list of what I can do. And if I want to add a dimming overlay, let's say. So if I wanted to come up here and put in an overlay, you see how everything went dark? I can drag that little corner down to say, you know, all I want you to see is this part. I want to highlight this section of the screen. And when I click Done, now that overlay should appear as I'm clicking on things, um, you know, various. And I had it. I had it set for three seconds, so it wasn't very long. I can adjust that time if I need to. If I come back here and I want to put in another overlay, let's come over here. Let's say we're going to put it here, and I want to put in an arrow that says we're going to click this one right here. I can make this arrow bigger if I want to. I can, I can twist it around by grabbing the ends of it. Different things that I can do. Just little quick edits to say, this is where I want you to look. This is where I want to go. Um, a lot of different things that are available 
when you get to the pro version. So now when I come in here and I start the video going and I open up other slot other other files, maybe my you'll computer. see that the, the arrow showed up and, and everything was great. Okay. And so here are the history of what I've done. I can delete them if I need to. Some shortcut keys down here. All of that to say I can do a really, really quick editing on my project if I go into the pro account. Several things that I do in Camtasia are available in the Screencast-O-Matic website. Camtasia is $75. This is $15. Camtasia is a little easier to use, but Screencast-O-Matic is cheap. So um, this is one of those areas of, of really easy, down and dirty, kind of make a screencast, throw it out there for the world. So if you're interested, you have teachers that are interested in flipping their classroom, Screencast-O-Matic is an option. They can do pretty much anything they want. And it, when I show you the video that I'll make here in a minute, I will include showing the, how the uh, webcam looks in there. Um, and so uh, whether you want to do flip classroom, if you want to do flip professional development, which is something that I'm working on at my school, where I have teachers that sign up for particular things they want to learn. We create videos to help them learn that and then they can do that on their own time. If you wanna you want to flip faculty meetings so that you send out information that you want your teachers to know before they come to the meeting, so when they come there, they're ready to collaborate, not just to put information out, you know, to give announcements, but to actually give them the information they need so when they come together, they can do the work you've called them to do. Um, these kinds of things are really, really important. And the flipped model works really great. So Screencast-O-Matic is one of those that will uh, help you as you go along. And I recommend that you give it a try and, uh, and see what you think. And we're going to stop now. I really appreciate you all uh, staying here through this canned version of what would have been a live um, uh, session for you uh, if, if, we, if I wasn't riding by train up to Vermont. Um, so I hope that uh, you've got some questions and they'll be able to answer those for you. In the meantime, at the end of this video, I'll throw out my email address. You can get in touch with me, my Twitter account as well, where you can get in touch with me there if you need to. And, and feel free to contact me. We'll be, ha we'll be able to, uh, to help you out if you need it later on. Have a great conference. We'll talk to you all later. All right, so this is an example of what uh, Screencast-O-Matic would look like if I had the webcam on, so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So if I were to do a quick tutorial to say, this is Symbaloo. Symbaloo is one of my favorite websites. If you go to edu.symbaloo.com to set up an education account, it's a free website, and it allows me to put these tiles out here of websites that I would use uh, quite frequently. So this is my home page that I have on every computer that I use. Um, and it has my social media sites at the top and some other things up there. It has some of my own personal stuff at the bottom, my bank account, credit cards, all those things that I can check whenever I need to. And so I have direct links to all these sites. The nice thing about Symbaloo is that I can set this up for a classroom. So, for instance, um, if I wanted to do something about high school math, here is a Symbaloo page that was set up with links to all different kinds of math sites for high school. I could set this up in a computer lab as the home page in my classroom, whether I have two or three computers in the back of the room, or if I have a computer lab of 30 computers or laptops, this could be my home page when students log in. They have access to every single website they will need all year long because it's set right here. They don't have to go searching anything. I don't have to give them anything. And so this is sort of what Symbaloo looks like. Now, I would go a lot further than that, but that's an example of what this video would look like uh, with the, some of the edits that you'll see that I put in along the way in the pro version. Hope you'll try Screencast-O-Matic.